Hello, this is Mumsy. And I'm Moxwell. And we're getting ready to start a brand new game. The game is Stories Untold. That we don't know a whole lot about. We do know that it's got an 80s retro feel and that I'm it could excited. be a little spooky. Not so sure about that. Um, don't really like scary, but I, I'm okay with suspense. So I'm hoping the spooky is more on the suspenseful side. Yeah, I'm thinking that I'm thinking that it'll be more on the suspense side, but we'll see. All right. Let's get started Let's get with started. The House Abandoned. Okay. If you find yourself stuck, try to look around for clues. Oh, that was? The camcorder. It was a camcorder. That's a, that's a cassette player. I remember cassettes. Yeah. This, this <laughs> We're just waiting through the credits right now. All right, here we go. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's an it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Oh wow. So we've got this console and we're going to type in text into this console as we sit in this room. Whoa. What are the commands? Are you supposed to be typing something now? Huh. So I'm type I typed in help and I typed in wait and I didn't get anything. Say okay. So I typed in look around and got, it's a nice clean car, not much to see, but there is a glove box. What's in the glove box? Um, will you do me a favor? Yeah. And will you Google stories untold console commands? Okay. I'm only seeing Oh, here's here's the one with resources. No, let's see. It says it's a horrif no, gotta pop up. A, a horrifying text adventure game. So we got to figure out what the commands are for this computer console. It didn't tell it, us. Hmm. There's no how to play or anything like no. that? No. <laughs> this is pretty hardcore. <laughs> well, I have to say, this has been one of my frustrations with n newer... Well, I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you, with the Mac and the iPhone, is it just kind of expects you to know mm -hmm. and I'm so old school that I need directions <laughs> stories untold walk through maybe oh no yeah it could be oh. one of them says 
Stories Untold is not Stranger Things, the game, but it has as much 80s cool. Well, this is just a review, I think. Okay, so we can, okay, okay, so we can go with like, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Okay, so, so we're at this house. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting it now. <laughs> um... So we're at a place we've been before. We got the key. Um, and a handwritten uh, note from Dad. The car. Or can we read the note? The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy the break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Okay, so we're back to pull up to the driveway. Huh. Why did it go back there? Um, because it's an old text adventure game. So... What did you type? Um... doesn't know what you're trying to say. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. So go to the front door or go to the side. Ah. Uh. Let's see, in the front of you is the front door. Let's go through the front door. Um. How do you think we should ask the computer for that? So I did go to front door or front door, go front door. doesn't understand that. Well, then just say go to side door or go around the side. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Okay, what did Dad say about the generator? We gotta start it up. Oh, start generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. You walk back around to the front of the house. I wonder if you can say go through front door now and since you've turned the generator on. Go forward. Man, this is weird. Go inside. There you go. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as the stairs going up. What just happened? Oh, there it is. 
Go up. Or go, go up. To... You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing, there is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. My bedroom? Um. Bedroom. Bath Let's just try the bathroom. How about go down? That would just take us to the, the lower floor. Do you want to go to the lower floor? Oh, it takes us where we've already been? Yeah. Nothing new. Why don't you say look around? That got you somewhere before. A standard landing. There's picture frames covering one wall. Ooh, good one. Family photos and holiday stamps. Our happy family. Is this like the way it's making you have to figure out what to tell it? Is that like a way these things games these games are, or just this game, or so is this? Strange? We've stumbled on to these text adventure games go back to like the earliest game era of games. And there were really complicated games where you just had a command line text that you would just type in, like fight and swing sword and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they were really big and complicated. And this is an homage to that. And part of the game is clunkily wandering through these commands. So you're not supposed to know what they are. You just have to kind of figure, figure it out. out. This would make me feel dumb. You walk into your old room. Your old what bedroom. I had to type in, um, go to my room. Oh, okay. Open so gift. many memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 120K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here. It's been preserved so well. On your desk is the computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all, it's all still to be set up though. And a copy of the House of Band. That's what the name of this game, isn't it? That's the name of the chapter that we're in right now. Weird. Set okay, how about turn on the... Yeah. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game in here, too. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. I'm so creeped out. Wait a minute. This is a completely different story. Yeah. Why did it do that? Because it's creepy. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Oh, I'm so freaked out. Um, inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. 
you don't recognize the handwriting, it says, get out, 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 get out. Leave. You force the wrapped car door open. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. The doors appears to be locked. You will need to use the key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Did you just hear something? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and... I can't read that. And damp. Damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. I can't read it. Just keep going. You feel compelled to read it over and over. There's no power to the lights. Generator must be off. Okay, so we have to go outside. You go back outside, coward. <laughs> you step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the node needing to look around. There is an old generator next to you. You are standing next to the generator. Turn on generator. There isn't much fuel but the generator starts up. Turn on the lights. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off, the walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains and trail. Oh! oh. The sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Go upstairs. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Like that, make it stop. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen, a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Uh, kitchen, living room, or stairs? Kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. There is writing on the wall, read wall. In blood, the number 18, 1986 is smeared across the wall. Look at carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Um, well, let's see, what were the other choices? It was kitchen, upstairs, and what parlor? The living room. Um, living room? I kind of want to investigate this red X. Okay. Um, the 
The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Okay. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Go to... You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for a good reason. You return to the hallway. Can you read it? I can't see it. It's, it's repeating funny. some of the stuff that it says. So oh, every okay. time we return to a room that we've been before, it just types it all out again on the console and then yeah. makes us um, wait before we can start typing. We're going back upstairs. Oh, this is not going to be good. Are you ready? Yeah. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is good. Ah! What? Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts. Voices spill out of the foam onto the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Ew. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. We need to find a key. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Um, Do you see what the clock says? Um, ninety nine, ninety nine. Is that has it always said that? No, it's been changing. Jennifer's oh. room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Um, boards. Uh, what? Uh. The bolt, the door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination. What's the combination? Oh, I don't know. Um, what was the, what was the, wasn't there a number, 1986? Yes. Um. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab 
the lock and now can and can now input the code. The lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister sister's room, your room and the bathroom. You open the bedroom door. into your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp. But you have been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note again. Um, okay, so now you're seeing somebody? Well, so we're sitting at a computer and we're controlling a person with the computer. Does that make sense? Um, not really, but that's okay. Keep going. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. But see, I don't see anybody sitting at the computer. That's what's confusing to me. Because we're sitting at the computer. So the computer is telling us what the person behind us is seeing. Okay. So there's the you there's two different yous. There's the you that's coming through the console, and then there's the you that's like inputting into the console. Have you ever played a game like this before? No, I haven't. How are you figuring this out? I'm just guessing. <laughs> um, help him? Talk to him? The bedroom feels, uh, the walls are damp, lone person sits, look around, you see me sitting there helpless, you edge closer. sure what it wants us to do. No. I, I can't be any help to you. I'm completely lost. I don't know how you've gotten this far. can't leave here. This is where it has to end. Oh my gosh. run yeah
sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I ta take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can't be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. I don't like this. Oh, please stop. It was all my fault. Say it. No. That was the first chapter. Oh, okay. You said you didn't like it, huh? Well, I didn't like that very last direct. I mean, I just always say that when I'm feeling a little scared, you know? Like, yeah, it, that was really frightening. So it got to us, huh? Yeah. I think it did its job. That's true. It did what it set out to do. Um, now, it would be interesting to see if... Um, if the rest of it is takes place in front of that computer screen too. Yeah, that was hard. That computer screen was tough. Yeah, I know. You're just sitting there having to guess. But you know you did it. You plugged it through. I stuff like that I just tend to walk away from like this isn't worth it, but I think one of the one of the valuable things about games is that they they teach you to to feel empowered to solve whatever you're yeah, up against. I can see that. And to think outside the box when you're trying to figure out what it wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Because you were doing a lot of things I would have done. You were typing in a lot of things and it kept saying I don't understand. And so you had to think in a different way, in a different direction. So I really, I am, I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of impressed with the, um, how a video game like this would motivate you to just plug, keep plugging along on a problem, keep going until you figure it out. And, and it, it also did a really good job of motivating us without kind of spelling out what we had to do. Right, it like, definitely did not spell out what we had to do, but it was, um, I, I guess, suspenseful enough, interesting enough that we, we wanted to keep going. Yeah, the like weird parallel a aspect of the, you know, now we're back in the computer world, or I, that was really intriguing and suspenseful. Yeah, I wonder how they're going to go because it started out one way. It started out happy and yeah, happy time, and then it got dark and stayed dark. It and did. it actually seemed like the guy was about to end it all. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, fiction fiction can can deal with things that real life can't. Um, or, or I guess what I mean is that. Fiction can expose you to things safely that if you were exposed to them in reality, that would be really bad for you. Right, yeah. Well, I think that that's why horror movies and slasher movies and games, why they're so popular. Because you can get that thrill without being really in danger. I personally am not that thrilled with the thrill. <laughs> but... Well, we will be back in a couple of weeks with Chapter 2, The Lab Conduct. See you then. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>